Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to take a look at reading uh, a file uh, in Node-RED uh, line by line. Now Node-RED has a couple of file nodes and one is a read node one is a write node but here it is here is a read node and the output of this read node is either a message a line by line message so if we got um, a file consisting of uh, lines then we can actually output one message per line or we can use a, a simple uh, single string so we have output basically a blob of data or we can do a buffer object or a stream of buffers depending on the type of data so if our data is text data which is which it is the right process at the moment then we're either going to use it in a single string or we're going to use a message per line now I've got set to a message per line and you can see here I'm passing it straight into a JSON node and out into here and when I click on that off it all goes. Now the problem with this uh, is that what what happens is that you and what I created this um, simple flow for was the fact that very often I get asked to decipher data so we've got some data here and people want to extract things from this data or they want to do something when something when they see a particular parameter in the data so I have to go through the data uh, and examine it to in order to extract it now what I normally do is get them to send the data over using an MQTT node so they send it over onto a public broker I use test.mosquito.org on a particular topic and I receive it here and it, here's the flow you can see it I receive it in here pass it into a JSON node and straight out into a file so it writes it into a file so then I've got a sample of data I can work with and then I just basically play that back when I, I need to work with the data so that's what it, it's all about now having it all come out in a big blob of data or one line per message uh, is uncontrollable so I often need to step through this data to to look at it so that's what this little flow does here now unfortunately there is no node to actually read the file line by line uh, but I found this tutorial here which I based my my flow on and uh, so I'll put a link to this tutorial in the in the video description if you want to read it so it basically explains how you do it with node.js now Node-RED is obviously Node.js based so we have access to the Node.js modules and I believe um, I had to install the module before I could actually use it um, I will check that and I'll put a, a note in the in the description below but it, w it was a few weeks ago that I actually created this um, this flow so I c can't actually remember so what we're going to do is actually read this line by line and we're just going to open into the debug node so here's the function that does it and all this does is um, tell it to read the next line so we just click on here and we get a line of data and now we can take a look at the data extract the bits we want um, or look at the parameters we actually want and if we want the next line we just go next and if I want to reset it and rewind it and go back to the beginning of the file I just click on this button here and we go back to the beginning okay very simple but actually very useful now there's obviously lots of refinements I could do to this A I can add a dashboard to it so we can actually do this from a dashboard rather than using inject nodes and B I could buffer the data so we could read in so many lines and we could scroll back and forth with the data but I haven't done that I just wanted to show you r how you actually do it so if you want to take that and modify it and do it then by all means do that as usual the flow will be available so this is the function here and we do a setup and in the setup we actually import the read lines module and on start we create a new lines object uh, let me change that because I have actually changed the location of the data and I have changed the name of the data 
No, I changed the name of the data. I actually took a sample from the actual original data rather than because the, the original data was very large, so I just took a sample of the original data. Um, and I'll make the, the sample data available as well. Okay, let's just refresh that. So just go back on start. So on start we basically create a variable and we store that in a context variable. So we've got access to that that variable in the on message part here. Now we're storing in the context variable, we're storing the line number and we're storing the actual pointer to the file, the object of the file. And you can see here I picked them up in here, the line number and I picked the line object up here. And then I and then here I look at the topic if it's next now the inject node will inject ne the topic next or reset if it's next then I basically get the le next line using the the dot next method of the of the lines object and I store it in line and now I'm just going to output it at the end so I convert it into a string sorry I convert it into an object because it already is a string and I return it. Not only do I use the onStart um, part of the function node, I also use the onStop to actually close the file when we're finished. So we pick it again, pick it up the, the pointer from the context variable and we close the, the file just to tidy it up. Okay, that's it. Actually a very simple flow that lets you step through a, a file line by line and also lets you reset it. As I say, there's plenty of refinements you can actually do to this flow and probably I will do them later on, but I just find it useful for, for testing and for actually deciphering data and hopefully you'll find it useful as well. Um, and as usual, if you like the video then give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any comments, then please leave them below, comments or suggestions of future videos. And until next time, goodbye.